Hey everyone, it's Lisa from Moon Prison Planner. Welcome back to my channel for another video or welcome to my channel if you're new here. Either way, thanks for clicking and watching. So today we're gonna to be planning for the first week in my brand new planner, the week of June 29th. Um, and this is my brand new recollections planner. And the kit I'm gonna be using this week is a kit from Sadie Stickers. This is her kit called Fourth. I think it's so beautiful. She released two gorgeous Fourth of July kits and I was having a hard time picking which one to get, but ultimately ended up on this one and I did pick up the um header like extra add-on or whatever so it's this gorgeous like pixie hollow foil where it's like little shattered little you know prettiness anyways so this is the headers that doesn't come with the kit and then here's the kit you've got your nine full boxes love the ice cream and the cupcake and the bow and then you've got your half boxes, appointment labels, quarter boxes, checklists, bill dues, habit trackers, and a sidebar sticker. Uh, then we've got, I think these are headers. Are these even more headers? Like strips of washier headers, whatever. Um, bow checklist flags, a bunch of cute stuff for layering, some appointment labels, some bow boxes and half boxes that are just tons of foil on this sheet. And then your bottom washi, date covers, um, more boxes, whatever. <laughs> and then these like, I don't know what these are. They're kind of like headers or I don't know what they are, strips of washi. Anyways, that is the kit I'm going to be using this week. Um, and then last week, here's the glimpse. I have to show you my, my old planner though. Here's the glimpse of last week. Um, this is a kit by my new stiction and I will have it linked down below or it'll pop up in the cards here if you want to, you know, watch me plan this after you watch this video. Um, so I also have to pull in some date covers and oops hang on I didn't grab those or I mean not date covers <laughs> um date dots so I'm gonna be using these date dots from Wild Summer Designs I'm also gonna be using my Grateful Four sticker in the sidebar by Cozy Paper Co of course I always use this to track my gratitude however I didn't have hollow so everything's gonna I'm gonna try to make it all hollow but I didn't have, have hollow for this so I'm just gonna use silver I also have this June freebie I believe this is from Isha's plans um I I'm pretty sure and um you know it's cute it's a fourth of july theme so thought i would pull that in and if there's anything else that i bring in um throughout then i'll mention it but otherwise let's go ahead and get started i'm gonna do the bottom washi the um full boxes the headers the date covers the sidebar and speed it up while i recap last week and then once you get to monday i will slow it down and we'll talk day by day all right everyone i want to apologize first if you can hear any wind in the background because it was like heck of windy right now <laughs> it's the wind is really kicking up right now anyways so starting on Monday Monday I uploaded my plan with me of course I had some bills due um that sounded like uh, like a run-on sentence what the heck can you hear the wind okay Monday I uploaded my plan with me of course as always um I also had some bills due and then I also cleaned my cat's water bowl. I try to do that once a month because he's actually got this really like big one. I think it's meant for dogs where you like fill the whole thing up with water and then you turn it upside down and it just kind of trickles water down, you know, like as the cat or animal or whatever drinks it, it just refills. It keeps refilling itself, but it doesn't overflow. It's some kind of science, you know. Anyways, so he's got that big old one and I just try to clean it once a month. Usually he's done with the whole thing, almost the whole thing by the end of the month. So yeah clean his water bowl and then I um I had put in that I actually had some issues with my upload on Monday uploading this plan with me it took freaking six hours oh, I was so exhausting I never want to relive that again I don't know why it was like again I was trying to upload a video on my Mac and my Mac loves to give me problems so I um I don't know like I I had tried to export it and then like the file was like corrupt or something. I don't know. It was crazy. Anyways, I had to basically re-edit my whole video again and then export it again and then upload it and then uploading took forever and it was crazy. It was so annoying. Anyways, Tuesday was my kitty's birthday. He turned five years old. Um, I uploaded my memory plan with me. Um, also, I had gotten in touch with Erin Condren twice because the first time I was told no and I was like, that's not acceptable. Um, and I asked for a refund to return my planner my 2020 to 2021 you know that I bought during the launch and so I was like yeah that's not acceptable so I um reached out again and then anyways they finally said yes you can send it back so on Tuesday the USPS picked up my old planner um they emailed me like a 
return label and I just put it in the box that it came in <laughs> and mailed it out. <clears throat> so I'm still waiting for my refund. Um, anyways, but that's why I'm using this planner now because I was able to get a return uh, label and get it returned. So um, also since I knew that I was going to be returning my planner on Tuesday was the day that I went to Michael's and I got my new planner. Um, I also had to make a target run. Um, oh, I bought a bunch of like household things. Like, um, I got my son, like one of those little three drawer, like plastic, you know, kind of dresser thingies where they're just like, really skinny drawers, kind of like the acrylic washi drawers, but like a plastic version of that just for his like really tiny toys and I got him a new little office chair because of his bed um being like that elevated Ikea bed or whatever it's got the desk underneath it and he needed a little office chair to sit at his desk um and I got yeah just like some household stuff so mostly like a, some stuff for his room a fan because he <laughs> we have a ceiling fan in there but his bed is so dang high that he can't use it anymore because he would just be like at risk of hitting his head it's like way too close to the fan so we just told him like don't turn that ceiling fan on anymore um so we had to get him like a little fan you know a little portable one anyways so I went to Target oh and then we also went to the library since my son is doing their summer <clears throat> summer reading challenge um every time he levels up by completing his like a portion of his book log and activities, and then he gets to go to the library, get a sticker and a free book. So he reached level two. On Wednesday, my son lost a tooth. <laughs> so um, that's interesting. He's he's 10, but he is still losing teeth. His dentist said he'd continue to lose like wisdom teeth and stuff probably until like 14, maybe 13, 14. So he lost a tooth on Wednesday. Um, there was also a like webinar that I attended about social media and um, I always find those kind of um, social media classes or whatever kind of a, almost irrelevant to me because like I try to like, you know, get some good tips. It was a free class, um, but they're always geared towards small businesses who like, you know, sell things and I'm like. I don't really sell anything, <laughs> you know, like, I don't have customers, <laughs> I don't know how to, I don't know, like, make it work for me, I'm like, what am I selling, I'm not selling anything, I'm selling myself, like, I don't know, <laughs> um, but yeah, like, I don't know, I thought it was free, it was, it was free, and I thought it would just be, like, a neat opportunity to, I don't know, see if I could learn anything about algorithms, and, like, hashtags, and stuff like that, such social media stuff, so, um, Wednesday was also the day that I closed my D-Stash giveaway, which by the way, if you're, if you go back and check, if you entered that giveaway, please go back and check to see if you're one of the winners because I didn't under I didn't even know that you like couldn't like message people on YouTube. I've never tried before. So like when I went to, you know, pick the winners and I was like, okay, let me message them and tell them they won. I'm like, what? Like where? I even tried Googling it and I guess, I guess YouTube used to have its own messenger app and then that went away. So now what, like you can't message people. I don't understand if you can message people on YouTube, somebody please let me know in the comments cause I can't figure it out. And so I replied to their comments, the two winners, you know, congratulations, you won. And I don't like, I just don't know how to message them. So I was like, uh, can you tell me your Instagram so I can message you on Instagram? You know, I need to get their addresses. So I can mail out their prizes and I don't know if, you know, it could be possible that they just didn't get the notification that I replied to their their um, comment because I know sometimes I don't even see those notifications if someone replies to my comments um, on YouTube. So if you entered that giveaway, please go back and check to see if you're a winner. And if you are a winner, then message me on Instagram. I can't freaking figure out how to contact the winners besides for just replying to their comment and then like hoping they see it, you know, and it's been like a week. So now I'm like, oh my God, what if they don't see it? But anyways. That was, I'm, oh, I don't understand. There's got to be an easy way, right? Like how, why can't you talk to anybody on YouTube besides for comments? That doesn't make any sense. Anyways, whatever. So then on um, Thursday, I had to pre-plan for the next week. Um, I also put that I woke up with a really bad neck ache. Like, I don't know if I slept on my neck wrong or what. All of a sudden, like getting older just hit me all of a sudden. I don't know what's going on. But I woke up with a freaking neck ache and so that was on Thursday and it's now currently Sunday and that shit still hurts and I'm like oh my god like it doesn't hurt as bad but it hurts I can't even like ugh, like I can't even I'm trying to look I can't even look over my shoulder so it's kind of like it's hard to drive you know like I'll need to go um like drive to go get some groceries it's hard to drive I'm scared like you know I need to look over my shoulder in my blind spot and 
I can barely turn my neck, um, my my head. It's just, ugh. I don't understand. It's been four days. Like, well, can it stop hurting now? Dang. Anyways, we also worked on my son's trofast for one and a half hours, <laughs> um, which is a part of his, like, room makeover is um, we bought him a trofast from Ikea for, like, toy storage and, you know, like, that little three-drawer thingy that I got for Target for his, for his like, smaller toys. Anyways, so we worked on getting his trofast organized. Um... I also, I forgot to put in Wednesday, I did upload my July, um, not July, my June planner haul. Um, I just didn't have room to put in my planner, but that video did go up on June, on Wednesday. So I did on Thursday, I have to put away my haul and oh my gosh, that took like another hour and a half, two hours. I had just stuff everywhere, all over my desk. It was madness. Um, I also ordered some stickers. I put in order stickers, but... Oh, I'm yawning. Why am I yawning? It's like six o'clock at night. I shouldn't be tired. Anyways, I don't remember um what stickers I ordered, but I did order some stickers. Actually, I think I have it in my little order tracker on the 25th. Oh, okay. I just ordered some stickers from Aurora and Avalon Creations and Cozy Paper Co. Those are two shops that I appear for. So yeah, I just put order stickers because I ordered some stickers. Um, and then I also contacted the winners. Um, I closed the giveaway on Wednesday and then Thursday was the day that I picked the winners. Um, Friday I filmed, actually no, I was supposed to film my plan with me, but y'all know I didn't do it. Actually no, <laughs> you know what? I did film it that Friday because I remember being up until one in the morning because I was filming that plan with me and I was filming my um, set up and move in to my new Aaron Condren because I was like, okay, I can't, you know, I can't film my setup and move in unless... Like, I mean, I can't film my next week's plan with me if I haven't moved into it yet, you know? So yes, actually, I do remember I filmed two videos on Friday, and that took me a long time. That filming, that set up and move in, which I'll try to remember to link, is actually, the raw footage was like an hour and a half long. It was nonsense. Um, I also had a bill due, and then it was just Trash Eve. Um, Saturday, I had to work from home for my part-time job. Um, so we did my usual meal planning and emails and responding to comments, um... You know, like as I just sit at my desk and wait for phone calls. So my iMovie just crashed and I have to record this part of the voiceover again. Hopefully it's recording now. It wasn't before and then it just crashed on me. So that's fun. Um, What was I saying? Saturday, right? Yeah. So I also had to go and do a return at Michael's after work. Um, Because I had bought this like um, kind of an A5 wide size binder. I don't know. I heard some people talking about it on Instagram and so I wanted to like get it and see how what the sizing was like with those just on your printable inserts that I had bought and um it's way too first of all the binder the dividers that it came with are way too big and also the binder itself just feels like really cheap quality so I was like I'm not gonna use this I wasn't sure if I was gonna use that binder or the recollections but I just like I prefer a coiled planner so you know, kind of keeps all your plans together and I like coiled better. So I went and returned that. And then we went to my in-laws house for family night and we watched the Fantastic Four movie. We've already seen it, but they hadn't seen it. And it's the one, um, the like 2015 one, I think like the newer one, you know, not the older one. And we had this delicious crab boil cause she was going for like a boiling crab, Louisiana style kind of, you know, crab boil in a bag kind of thing. Um, since we took them out to the boiling crab for the first time and they loved it. And so she wanted to kind of DIY that and it was really, really good. You know, the kind of classic um, corn and shrimp and crab and potatoes and all that in a bag and stuff. And it's so good. I could literally eat that every day. And sushi. I would never get tired of that. <laughs> sushi and crab boil. Um, and then for Sunday, my in-laws came back over. They needed, um, we needed their help to install my son's TV onto the wall where they, you know, like drill it in with the brackets and mount it on the wall. And they also bought us like a parcel lock box to go in um like on our patio for it's like drills into the concrete so no one can steal it um and then that was pretty much it for the recap of my last week okay well that was a struggle looking back <laughs> i really should have laid down a test kit in the back of this planner because i don't plan on using it the full 18 months i'm only gonna use it for 12 months so i could have totally just put a test kit back there to see how everything went learn from my mistakes don't do what i do um i have also learned the headers are a little bit like not the quite perfect size. You can still see a little bit of this pink header peeking through. Not enough to drive me crazy. But what is enough to drive me crazy was this weird alignment. Because I had aligned my bottom washi to where those um, lines are. But then I don't like how it's like going over 
and then the full box too. It's going over the bottom washi. So that, if I don't stare at it, it won't drive me crazy, but if I do, it will. So I'm gonna figure out, I guess I'll just have to put the bottom washi down further because the heading, the header and then the full box alignment matches perfectly right here. You don't have any overlapping. It's just right here with this last box. If it's lined up to the header, it's going to overlap with the bottom washi if you line the bottom washi up to this like last dot or whatever. I don't know. We'll have to figure it out. But yeah, this, see, like this, it kind of bugs me how it like goes over like that. And on this side too, it's like too long. But it's also like not too long because look, the lines go that far. I don't understand. It's a learning curve. Let's just go ahead and move on to Monday. Also, sorry this sidebar was such a struggle bus. I really wanted to save that cute ice cream cone and I ended up, ended up butchering it because I couldn't keep it if I wanted to keep this. And I do want to keep this. Um, and I might not keep it all the time just because pink might not always match with what I'm using for that week. But I just wanted to, I don't know, I wanted to keep it for this one because it's like July, it's a new planner. I don't know. Anyways, moving on to Monday. <laughs> So Monday, I am going to be uploading this plan with me right here, of course. I'm going to take a triple arrow from my new addiction in the shattered hollow glass, shattered glass hollow, whatever, in that colorway. And I think I want to layer it with these flags because they're really pretty. And why not? So let's go ahead and just take a flag and see, this is a challenge too. There's no line for me to go off of. There's just this dotted line that's in between these two boxes, but even that is not something that you would um, line up your stickers to because as you can see, the headers don't touch it. So lots of learning curves with this planner. Um, let's just put it right here and hope that that works. <laughs> and then we'll use our arrow and point that up for upload. Okay. Um, then I also need to moon journal since there is a full moon coming up. So I'm going to use one of these moon quarter boxes from Cozy Paper Co. Do I want it like that? Yeah, I do. I do PR with Cozy Paper Co. You can just put Lisa, my name, in the notes to seller before you check out and then you'll get my freebie. And I'll leave some room for something right there, I guess. That's it for Monday. Um, I will go ahead and fill in like memory plan with these blank spots here you know, throughout the day, whatever happened, whatever we did. So that is it for, I kind of don't want to put it there. You know what? I kind of want to put it lower because I do tend to like moon journal. Um, I don't know, like at the end of the night, you know, so let's move it a little bit lower. Are you still in frame? <laughs> yeah. Let's put it down here. Uh, okay. Oh uh, yeah. I like that better. Okay. So that's it for Monday. So let's go ahead and move on to Tuesday. Tuesday, my son has a, um, it's not a doctor appointment. It's a quest appointment. He needs to get some blood work done. Um, let's do, I wanted to do that, but it's the same. Um, hmm. Let's do this. It's pretty. And it's a different flower, so why not? Okay. Anyways, he has a doctor, not a doctor. He has a quest appointment. He needs to go get some blood work done, ordered by his doctor. By the way, if your stickers are really, really sticky and you put them on your skin first, um, it'll take away the stick. So it's not so hard to get off your planner um, if you need to reposition your stickers. Okay, anyways. So yeah, my son has a doctor appointment. I keep saying that. It's He has to get blood work done because his doctor ordered to get some blood work done. So I'm going to take a stethoscope from the Sticker Genie. Unfortunately, her shop is no longer open but I still have them and they are useful. So also I want to use this freebie as much as possible. This is a freebie from Rose Colored Days and it is her Nikki like collab freebie. And it's this beautiful like blue um, foil. And then, I mean, when else am I gonna use a blue foil than when I'm using a red, white and blue kit, right? <laughs> so um, I'm trying to think of how can I use, I wanna use maybe a squiggle. One of these thin ones though, these are cute. Just like that and that's gonna be for his um, appointment um, and then I need to upload my memory plan with me from you know last week's um, was it spread the one that I showed you so wait am I missing a header oh I'm not I don't think that these are technically headers because the actual headers that I purchased like the header add-on I don't see the paint coming through 
So maybe these are just technically washi strips, but I used them as headers, so whatever. Anyways, I need to upload my memory plan with me. So let me take another flag from the kit. Um, do I want to use this blue one? No, let's save it because there's already a lot of blue in the half box, I mean the full box for the day. So let's save that pretty blue flag for tomorrow, for Wednesday. I am uploading a third video. I try to upload three videos a week. So that's it for Tuesday, right? Yeah. Wednesday, it is my in-laws anniversary. I think 44 years. Let me think. Yeah, 44 years. I remember because they're like a full, like 40 exactly years um, ahead of us. I and my husband and I have been married for four years, so they are 44. <laughs> so I'm gonna use a half box for that. And again, I want to use this blue, but then it's gonna be right next to it. Okay, whatever. Let's just use the firework full box or half box. Oh my gosh! Why didn't I realize this? Dang it! Okay, you see how I did that weird? <laughs> I did this really weird um, checklist in the sidebar, and I didn't even realize I could have used one of these. <sighs> Well, it's too late now. That's kind of cute, I'm not gonna lie, but it is annoying that it's like this was here and this was here too and I didn't even see it. I don't know why, I only saw these. And I was like, oh darn, I didn't wanna have to write a checklist on the dots. And so, whatever, I was innovative. Anyways, <laughs> let's go back. Let's go back to Wednesday. So it's their anniversary and I'm gonna use, it's so sticky, it doesn't even wanna let go of my skin. I'm gonna use a half box. For their 44th, is that what I said? Anniversary? Yeah, 44. And I've got these cute, um, what are these balloons? Um, these are from Simply Gilded. This is just a sheet of reusable sticker collecting paper that I purchased on Amazon. I'll have it linked down below if you want. And it really holds onto these stickers really good. It doesn't want to come off. Um, and it is double-sided, so I've got some more presents back there. And I just have, like, a random assortment of, like, birthday stickers from random shops. Um, or, like, birthday or balloons or whatever, that kind of thing, you know? Um, that I keep in my little sticker storage album on this little piece of paper that I cut off for sticker collecting. So, yeah. Anyways, that's what that is. Um, so it's their anniversary, and I wanted to use some balloons, and then also this cute celebrate script right here in the hollow uh, from Artbox stickers. I think we gotta get them a present, and I forgot what we should get them because I haven't ordered anything. Oh well, I'm gonna put that down there. Very cute. Also on Wednesday, like I said, I need to upload a video. So let's get another flag. Let's get the blue one this time. Okay. Um, I want to put it over here though. And this this video is going to be my July plan with me. Uh, I'm going to be planning for the month of July in this planner and the notes section as well. There's only one page of notes in this planner, but I'm going to plan in it. Also, if you want to see me set up and move into this planner, since this is my first week in it, I will have that video linked down below or it'll pop up in the cards. So <clears throat> you can see how I set it up and how I'm going to be using it. Also on Wednesday, um, there's going to be a sale from a shop called Vividly. Um, it's either Rani or Rani. I don't know how to say it. I apologize. Um, but I do want to check out her shop anniversary sale. So I want to grab one of these, I think. Yeah, yeah. No. Yes? Yeah, let's grab one of these. One of these boxes. Um, so I'm excited to see what she's going to put out there. She has some really cute washi I know of, and I've never actually, I've never actually made a purchase from her before. I'm going to use the new releases script from Piper Paper Company. Um, so yeah, I've actually never made a purchase from her before, but I was gifted some of her washi last year and it is so beautiful. It's not going to fit. Oh, you know what? Yeah, I'll put it down here. And that way I'll write vividly Ronnie. I think it's Ronnie. Anyways. Um, I was gifted some of her washi and it's gorgeous. And so I know that, you know, I would like to check out her anniversary sale and that is not centered. I think she's doing like an anniversary box or something where it's like a $35 box. I don't know if it's a mystery or she's going to show what's going to be in it. I don't know. We'll see. Lots of, I don't knows. Um, so it's going to be for her. And then I think that's it for Wednesday. Yeah, that's it for Wednesday. So 
let's go ahead and move on to Thursday. Thursday, um, I have a bill due, and there aren't any bill dues in this kit, so I think what I'll do is just use, oh, there are bill dues, <laughs> I'm a liar. Um, so let me go ahead and use the bill due then. Oof, oh darn, this one wanted to hang on to the border. Okay, so I've got my bill due. It's not too hard actually, I think for some reason, like lining it up, eyeballing it, it's probably like so off and I can't even tell. <laughs> but eyeballing it from this view, it looks okay. It doesn't look like it's like, you know, like eh, too far to the left or the right, whatever. Um, I also need to pre-plan for the next week. So I'm gonna be using one of these pretty light blue um, book bows by Creating & Co. I got this from her advent calendar last year. And let's like layer that with something really cute. Like a, I think a hexagon would be too small. What about one of these arrows? One of these red arrows? Yeah, let's do that. Oh shoot, I can't put it the other way. Whatever, I'll just put it this way then. Okay. I haven't even used one of these yet, yay. I love how it's a bow clip, but it's like a book bow clip. It's really cute. <laughs> it's a little too far up, hold on. Just down a little bit, and I don't wanna cover the little bow right there. Okay, whatever. You know what, let's just move the whole thing down a little bit. Because <laughs> I just don't want it like overlapping with the, the bill do really. Okay. Sorry if you can hear my stomach gurgling. That's weird. Anyways, that's it for Thursday. Yeah, that's it for Thursday. Okay, so moving on to Friday. So Friday, my son has a dentist appointment. And it's funny because he actually <laughs> just recently lost a tooth a couple of days ago. So they're going to see that and... um hopefully have good things to say about it. <laughs> and I think I'll use this, this half. Oh, I keep wanting to use this and I can't, I'm gonna use this one. Why do I keep doing that to myself? I don't know. Okay, we'll use this half box. And I have a tooth sticker by the Sticker Genie. Again, she is no longer open, sorry. I used to PR for her, so I have like, you know, some leftover stickers from her shop. Um, yeah, let's do that. Little tooth. Then I also need to film next week's plan with me. So I'll take the last, you know, what is this, um, flag in the kit? Just put it right there. And I'm not going to point this one up because it's not an upload. So this one will just go like so. When I have to cover up those dainty little bows because they're just so dang cute. Um, and that's it, except for Trash Eve. So, what do I want to use for Trash Eve? Why don't we use um? Why don't we use an appointment label? I wanted to use one of these pretty ones over here, but then I don't want to cover up the um sparkly bows and stuff on them. These ones. Who could cover that up? That's too cute. I can't. So, um, cause I'm going to use a trash can. So I don't want to cover that. This is a cozy paper co. I didn't have hollow. So I'm just using silver. And I think I'll just use a white one. Again, you just put my name in the notes for my freebie. Okay. So that'll do for trash Eve. Then on to Saturday, I like how there's independence day down here, but I am going to wait it out <laughs> cause I have my own Sticker. And unfortunately, the whiteout doesn't quite match the color of the paper perfectly, but I think that it's good enough. And I kind of whited out a little bit on the bottom washi there. Oopsie. I should have whited it out before I put the bottom washi down, but uh, hindsight is 2020, isn't it? Okay, whatever. Uh, what are we on doing? We're going to start at the top. Okay. And we'll go ahead and start with Independence Day. Finally, you know what? I'm gonna use this dang box. I don't care if it's next to that one. It's too pretty. And you know what? Probably should have used something fireworky instead, but oh well, we only use this one. Do you want it like this or like this? That's cute, you can use it either way. Let's do it this way. And yeah, um, I'm gonna use the Independence Day freebie that I showed y'all on this freebie from Isha's plans. No, come here. Why is it always the corner that got me? Okay, there it is. And I wanna layer that with 
a um, blue foiled bow, one of these little Nikki bows. No, 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 don't stick. Turn it. There we go. It's so pretty. Don't want it to. Oh, that's cute. Okay, let's do that. Super pretty. Okay. Um, I don't have to work, thankfully. I do have a part-time job where I work on uh, Saturdays. I just work one day a week. But, of course, it's a holiday, so we don't have to work. Um, I do, of course, still need to do my, like, little checklist of things. Um, maybe I could use this. It's not going to fit there, though. Okay, let's go ahead and first do my nails. God, do. Did I put that down here? I did. I don't know. I kind of grabbed these two. They're both hollow, but this pink one... It kind of goes. Let's do that one. These are both Cozy Paper Co, by the way. Um, and I want to use one of these, like a hexagon. Yeah, let's do that. This is super pretty. Um, anyways, so I need to do my nails. I'm going to do that one first. And let's just do that with one of these from Cozy Paper Co. This is an older $1 Wednesday. Oh, that's cute. Okay. So that's going to be for my nails. Um, so then I can move down a little bit. Can you see this part? Yes, okay. And what did I say? Oh, need to do, I wanna do um, a half box down here cause I like to put in, um, cause we go to my in-laws house and watch a movie. And so I like to just like, you know, write, write it in whatever movie we watched. Cause that's fun to look back on. So I'll cover up that whiteout that doesn't match. That works. And I have a family time script from a, a read the Rachel freebie from Letters to Apollo. So I'm gonna use the family time script. Um, I don't know, I hope this black isn't gonna be too like, you know? I didn't have like any silver family time or hollow. I don't know. It's It looks pretty dark, but let's just see how it looks after everything is all, you know, cause it might look better once I fill it in with pen and then the Independence Day is black too. So whatever, it might not look too harsh, you know? Um. Okay, and then I said, yes, I need to do my, like, emails and things. I need to, I, every Saturday I respond to emails and YouTube comments and stuff like that. So, I'm going to use another one of these, um, one of these arrows because they're so pretty. And I'm going to do this. Yeah. And a laptop from Cozy Paper Co. And this kind of, it's almost purpley, but it's like a grayish purple. So, it kind of works as I respond to my emails and stuff on my laptop. I would like that a little bit more at an angle. Okay, there we go. And that is it for Saturday. Yeah, so move on to Sunday. Can you see this? Okay, good. I'm just looking in a mirror to see if you can see what I'm, if I'm in, if you're in frame. So, um, for Sunday, I'm gonna be planning with my son. Um, a lot of my dilemma with these kits is that there's so many cute little bows and things and I don't want to cover them up. <laughs> so it's like, what do I use? Let's do one of these. Nobody wants to cover up a foiled bow. Um, and I'm going to use a planner from Sticker Insanity. Um, this like bluish planner. I apologize. She is no longer open. Does this match or should I use the darker blue? Oh, the darker blue kind of looks good. Um, so yeah, she's a shop that's no longer open, unfortunately, but she was another shop I appeared for. So c'est la vie. Um, and I have a script from Beyond Paper Flowers that says plan. So I thought that'd be cute to use. Just like uh, this. You know what? Let me move the planner up a little bit because it's going to cover up that little snap closure. And then it's just going to look like a book or something, if you can't see that. Come on, let go. Just move it up a little. It's going to go into the header a little bit, but I'm fine with that. <gasps> Don't cover the bow. Oh my gosh. Why is it such a dilemma? No. Okay. Let's go like this. And I'm going to cut off <laughs> that a little bit of extra there that's hanging over. Otherwise, that L is about to cover that little bow and that's too cute to cover and I'm gonna use one of these little hearts these little blue foiled hearts from the Nikki freebie I love that these this new freebie from Nikki is on oh my gosh it's so cute on the clear paper oh that's so cute okay 
that's where we're planning with my son. Then we need to go and, and then we also need to go and do our food shopping. So what can I use? I want to use, I have a little shopping cart from the Giving Girl. This is just a silver clear sticker. And I also have this grocery shopping script from Letters to Apollo. I want to layer these together, but then what else? Hold on. If I put this one, I love how she's got the grocery carts going both ways. Let's do this one like that. But then should I put it on a box or something? I don't like a box and a box and a box and a box and a box. So if I do a box next to a box, I'm going to do something to divide it. So should I do a Nick Mickey squiggle, like a bigger one? Yeah, that's cute. Okay. So let's do this here and then do the grocery shopping. Um, I want to Let's lift this up a bit, please. Okay, yes. That's why I don't push my stickers down until I know that I'm positive about the position. And then it's kind of going into Saturday a little, but I guess that's fine. And a bigger Nikki squiggle over here just to break that up super cute. I love this blue color. It's like, wow. Also on Sundays, I do my weekly de-stash. I just de-stash like my le kit leftovers, you know, figure out what I want to keep and what I want to like give away or give to my son or something. So, um, I'm going to do, let me start working from my way from the bottom actually, just to make sure I have space for everything. So I'm going to start at the bottom of Sunday. That is a full moon on Sunday. So I have a full moon, my full moon trackers from Aurora and Avalon Creations. This is a shop that I PR for. So if you put moon prism in the notes, you will get my freebie. I need to cut that off. It is a little bit like wider than a standard 1.5 inch box or whatever. So I did actually touch the dots on that side and it still goes over a little bit on this other side. I also have another bill due. Yeah, I have another bill due. Where'd that other bill due go? There it is. Oops, this border came with it. Okay. Be gone. All right, so I have another bill due. And what else is going on? I need to file for my unemployment claim. Um, and I need to do my weekly D stash. Now the D stash is bigger. So let me grab that and do that. These are just like a sticker doodle sheet by Wild Summer Designs. And oops, oh, nothing happened. I thought it ripped. I'm gonna put that, um, yeah, let's put it here. And we'll do another bow. Rose colored days. Oh, that's cute. Okay. I'll just write D stash. And then up here is where I'll go ahead and put my unemployment filing. So let me grab something though that will go on a box of some sort. <clears throat> I really want to use one of these. Let's try not to cover up like too much, I think. No, I kind of want something to go over here though. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Never mind. Never mind. Let's just use one of these then. Um, I'll use the red. I've got too much blue going on here on Sunday. And that way I'll flip this. Okay, cool. And then I've got this, um, what is it? Dollar sign from Libby and Co. Um, and I'll just, should I just use red? Yeah, I guess I'll just use red. Here we go. Okay. Sunday is pretty packed. Um, so... That is it. Let me go ahead and zoom out and show you everything. <clears throat> super, super pretty. Love this. Let me go ahead and put my washi up at the top. I think I like to always put a little washi up here. And I think I'm going to go ahead and go with this red and silver from Simply Gilded. Because I love this like pop of color that it, you know, kind of contrasts up there. And I think it could use some color up there. So that's what we're going to do. And then I will go ahead and fill everything in so you can see what it looks like after the pen. 
I think next time I will cover up the July up there. I don't know if I'm crazy about it. Whoops, that turned out to be crooked. So anyways, I'll go ahead and fill it out on camera and then that way I'll be back to show you what it all looks like um, after the pen. So be right back. Okay, here everything is after the pen. Um, I used a few little bows, little kiss cut dainty little bows from uh, Simply Watercolor Co. in Hollow. And here it is. I love the pop of red that the washi is giving me up at the top. It definitely helps to <clears throat> balance out all the neutrality that the uh, day covers are giving me. Anyways, love it. Love how it turned out. And yeah. And like I said, I will go back in these white spots and just memory plan with what, you know, I did during the day. So that way it's not so blank. But yeah, I hope that you enjoyed it. Um, please give this video a thumbs up if you did because it really helps out my channel, helps me to grow. Definitely um, subscribe if you're not already, but you'd like to see more videos from me since I do upload consistently. I try to do three uploads every week. Um, and leave me a comment if you have a question about anything or if you just want to say hi and I'll say hi back. All of these shops will be linked down below that are open, of course. <laughs> um, so that way you can make a purchase. And if you use my links to save some money, then it helps me out. And I really appreciate your support. Anyways, I hope that you take care. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Have a wonderful Independence Day and um, first week of July. <laughs> and I hope that I'll see y'all in my next video. Take care. Bye.